Hi guys, Rick Baxter here with Cost Control Software. I want to take a minute and show you a new feature that we've just added uh, to our Foundation Pack database. It's feature number 75 now. We're up to 75 features, and I'm calling this one Instant Start. It's similar to Rapid Start, but I'm calling it Instant Start because you'll see it uses the copy, copy company command and then we've added some additional functionality to that to clear the transactions. So watch how this works. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I want to show you that uh, within departments, you can go to IT administration. And by the way, you can follow along with me in your foundation pack user manual as well. Uh, so I'm going to go into companies. So here within companies, we have a list of the companies. This is the same as if you come up here to uh, companies and then you can select which company that you want to use. But you may not have known that there's actually a place in here where you can t select one of your companies and then copy it. So this is pretty handy, except it copies everything. It copies the entire uh, company with all the data complete duplicate of the company but the company then has a new name and the way nav had i think uh, perceived this is that you could go in and edit the data from there but i'm going to show you a really fancy way to uh, clean that data up to get it to just uh, the the pieces that you need so let me I, i've got a company here called a test delete data because you do have to run the adjust cost post cost uh, routine i've done that already in this company and let me just run the copy command so i'm going to say copy we give it a new name and i'm just going to call this uh, new company inc 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 there we go and uh, i'll say okay and what it's doing is it's copying this test company to my new company. Now, it takes about three or four minutes for this process uh, to run. So I'm going to pause the video and then we will um, pick you up on the backside. OK, so it has completed. So you'll see now on the list, it has inserted my new company, Inc. And let's just uh, switch, and I'll show you a couple things in that company. So I'm going to go home, and I'm going to switch to that company. So I'm just going to pick, uh, here it is, select company. And I'm going to go to my new company on my list. And you may have multiple, many, many companies in your database. I'll say OK. And it takes me to my new company, Inc., up here at the top. OK, now the, the problem with the copy command is that it copies everything. It copies the chart of accounts. It copies the customers. It copies the posting groups. It copies the sales orders. It copies uh, the purchase orders. If I click on purchase orders, you'll see in my new company, it's got all the same um, <clears throat> It's got all the same uh, open POs in this company as I had in the other company. Well, I don't want the POs. You know, I'm starting a brand new company and I want to do it as rapid as uh, possible. Actually, I call it instant. So I really want to get rid of these transactions. I don't need them. OK, same thing for customers. Let's go take a peek at the customer list. The customer list got copied, and guess what? All of the balance due for those customers came in as well. Well, I don't want that in my new company. I want to start my new company out with the transactions all at zero. That's the, uh, that's the mission here. So what we've done here at Cost Control Software is we've created a function that allows you to go into this new company, whatever you call it, and basically clean up or clear out the transactions because you may in fact you may not even want the customer list in the new company or maybe you do I'm not sure about that one but I definitely know I don't want to show a balance due from progressive or from uh, uh, Canon group I don't want to show those balances in this new company because the copy company is a complete dupe of the uh, the previous company so 
to make a rapid start for this new company and by the way I've switched did you didn't see me I switched to this new company and here's the secret to the whole thing so there's well there's two parts to it so I'm going to show you just as it shows in your um, uh, handout so I'm going to go into first of all the setup one little thing in the setup here I do want to show this to you so this really is kind of a little bit of training material as well if I go into general into the user so where we go is to the user setup area and I've got a four users in here and there's one little change that we've made here called allow data cleaning and I've got it set under my login to allow for data cleaning that allows me to delete data and Carolyn and Julia cannot delete uh, data because this is a really powerful function so only certain people should be able to actually uh, carry out the uh, process of the data cleaning okay so uh, with that in mind so that's one little piece that's in there and what we're going to do now is I'm going to open up the actual function itself because we've got the company built but we don't want all this data this should all be at zeros Okay, we shouldn't have any quotes in here. We shouldn't have any sales orders in here. We may or may not want customers. I'll show you that in a, in a minute. So I'm going to park this out of the way. I'm going to open up the uh, command here for this is the page. And notice it's in the development environment. So you do have to have access to a developer's license to be able to run this. This is part of security. We didn't feel it'd be right to put this on the uh, anywhere on the menu. So I'm going to run the function from here. It'll open up the uh, the page, and you do need to make some decisions now about what you are wanting to uh, clean out of there. So the first thing is uh, these transactions. I don't really, I don't want any transactions, so I'm going to check that one off because I don't want any transactions in my new software, then or the new company. So then you got to decide, do you also want to delete customers? Do you want to start out with zero customers and add the customers? Or do you want to keep the customers that are there, but there just won't be any transactions uh, for, those, uh, for those customers? So you've got to make uh, that decision as well. And same for contacts. Uh, let's say we don't want contacts. I'm going to leave customers. Uh, I'm going to put in all new vendors. I may import the vendor file. We have a completely different set of inventory, so I'm going to start fresh with inventory. Uh, resources, uh, da, 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 I'm going to get rid of them. A chart of accounts, I'm going to leave the chart of accounts. I think the chart of accounts is good, but obviously we don't want any transactional data against those chart of accounts, so they should all have zero balances, but the actual chart of accounts can stay. Uh, the banks, the bank accounts, I think I'll leave them as well. There's only a few. Uh, employees, uh, I'm going to start over fresh there. Uh, salespeople, we've got new salespeople in this new company. Uh, same with fixed assets, I'm going to let that go. Locations, I'm going to set that up from scratch and set up jobs from scratch as well. So this is the configuration. I'm getting rid of transactions. I'm going to keep the customer list. I'm going to also keep the chart of accounts and I'm going to keep the bank accounts. But everything else is going to get cleaned or purged, whatever you want to call it. So it is going to that is that is the plan. So there is one action that you run to carry this out. It's back here on the action tab called clean data. And you click it, and of course, in big letters, are you sure you want to uh, to delete all data back to uh, RIM for this company? And the company name is New Company Inc. That's the name I created when I copied the company. And I'm going to say yes, and um, you have to run inventory, and I've done that. Oh, have you run inventory? Yes, I've done that already. And so it is now um, cleaning those tables. Look at it go. So all these master tables of hundreds of information, one or more bank account ledger entries have been reconciled to the bank. These bank ledger entries will not be modified. Do you want to continue? I'll say yes. I'll say yes to that one. 
yes to that one operating does a few more things <clears throat> and it's going to basically remove all the data in all these tables look at all the tables that it's cleaning out for me all automatically now this is a powerful command do realize that it's a powerful command but it's going to finish up here in just a second uh, the CRM segment is now empty do you want to reset the number of criteria actions we'll say yes uh, yes and and then we should be finished here in just a second let this go and I'm showing it all to you in real time and then we'll go review the results because I want you to see what actually happens after you've run this function to clear uh, and clean out all that transactional data so that you're ready to start using there it's done um, start using this new company so let's go check it out now what should have happened all the transactions should be gone and there would be no transactions in this new company it would have left the customers it cleaned out the contacts cleaned out the vendors it did leave the chart of accounts and bank accounts so let's check at least the customers and chart of accounts so I'm going to close this and we'll park this out of the way we'll open back up our company and we'll go check it out so um, we'll want to do a refresh here and notice now I'm in new company Inc okay this would be the name of your new company and there's no sales orders no purchase orders nothing and if I go to vendors remember we said no to vendors <laughs> they're gone so you have no vendors in here at this stage but I did say save the customer list so I said yes to customers so I've got customers but the balances are all zero because we cleared all the transactions so there's no transactional values but I did keep the customer list okay so again you've got to kind of decide that as you go and what was the other thing oh I saved the um, a chart of accounts so let's go to financials and under financials here's the chart of accounts I did keep the chart of accounts but notice my net change and balance at date if I scroll down everything's at zero so there's no balances I've basically I'm in balance in my balance sheet and income statement because everything is at zero so I'm ready to start up this new company so this is why I call it almost I call it really instant start because it's it is now it's got the chart of accounts I did keep the posting groups okay I kept the posting groups I kept a lot of the setup stuff so for example on customers uh, if we open up the Canon group let me just edit this so you can see what we did here I did keep for the um, things like uh, responsibility centers okay oh no I guess I didn't keep that um, what did I keep um, oh down here on the uh, most of the setup things like the posting groups okay so they have all been maintained I did keep the uh, payment terms so if we come down to payment terms down here these are things that you don't really want to have to re-enter is like payment terms everybody can share this list of payment terms so we keep that payment terms it's a pretty small list and if in this new company you need to make some adjustments you could uh, make those changes uh, pretty quickly by the way this is all open code so that if you do need to uh, maybe delete other things then uh, or not delete you can actually change that um, main screen to make any adjustments that you want to make so there you have it that is the uh, the new function for instant start it basically starts up a, a complete new company if you want to actually delete the customers you could have deleted the customers I deleted the vendors and the items and um, basically it's ready for you to start um, entering transactions well I would you got to add your uh, inventory items uh, or resources but it is uh, ready to go so give it a try I hope you like this feature if you have any questions uh, my name again is uh, Rick Baxter at cost control software and give me a call and ask away or send me send me uh, send me an email I'd like to hear from you thanks so much